All right, and welcome back. This is my uh, eighth episode, only day two on this world. But uh, that, as you may have guessed, is was the office office theme song, and that is far and away my wife's favorite show. It is not the Little House in the Prairie theme song, but I've kept my tradition of picking a different theme song every single time. So welcome back to this episode. Um. Last time, I restarted my uh, thing after dying on day six. That was day seven. Now this is day eight. My goal is to kind of be efficient here and get to where I would have been uh, at day six and call that good. Now, um, what that entails, I think, is I, I want a house and I want a functional farm. So what I'm doing right now is just getting... Um, lots and lots of wood, and I'm going to try to use that to, oops, jumped, I didn't need to, to start on a house today. Is this all, oh, there we go, there's some oak. I'm not going to be too picky about the wood, I'm going to go with birch. Um, hopefully I can get some oak for like, uh, the, the edges of the house, the beams, but if I don't have it, then so be it. I can always replace them later. I looked over, I took a quick peek at my farm over there, and I think I already saw some wheat, which is better than that farm was previously in the other incarnation of this game. Because, yep, there we go. Looking well. So, uh, let me go over there. Um, in the previous incarnation of this game, I don't think anything sprouted over there. So, look at that. Alright, so, let's harvest you puppies. Get some seeds on the bar. Oh, I think it's always quickest just to harvest with the seeds, because then you can pop the new one in afterwards. Alright, I see some oak trees over there. So, let's go over there and chop them down. I think I feel somewhat alright jumping occasionally because my farm is doing well. I think I learned a lot in this challenge and it will help me hopefully in future challenges. Although it won't help me at all in next month's challenge because um, Michael explained that's going to be zombie life and what that is going to be is oh I hear a skeleton. I'm going to have to move here soon. Maybe I'm just crazy. Yep I hear him again. Well, hopefully it doesn't hurt me. Ah. So, how much do I have? 30? Is that not quite enough? No, does he sound like he's dying, that skeleton? Who knows? So in zombie life, we're going to be living as a zombie, or ish. We have to go to a village, kill all the people there, and then we have very meager things we can do because our brains aren't functioning well. So what that means is uh, I think we can maintain the village, and uh, we can craft wood tools, and we can only eat zombie flesh. So, I, yeah, I don't... There's going to be zero farming I'm going to have to do, and uh, I'm not thinking I'm going to survive long on that one, but I'm going to give it a shot. Oops. We'll say my axe died, and that is a sign. And as we all know, I saw the sign, and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Another 90s reference there. Okay. Let's get these. All right. One day in, and I got two loaves of bread. Much better than... I think it was day two I almost died last time, so... Much, much, much better. Let's let's make my little house right over here. So let's get some birch planks. Let's get some oak here. And we'll do... Look at this scenic vista. You'd have to pay big money for this nowadays. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll do seven. Oh, oh that's not how I want it. I need to have an axe, don't I? 
Um, they didn't call it Big House in the Prairie. They called it Little House. And then one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do eight, nine. We'll make it rectangular slightly. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, don't have. Oh, there we go. Beam. Now, I think in the evening here, after I kind of get some of this stuff going, I'm going to go back to my mine across the street, across the creek here, and get some, hopefully get some gold, and then I can, oops, work on that. I think I'm going to change my options here. I did an unlimited frame rate, but I wasn't recording then. I think I'm going to do that to lower the frame rate. Oops, and hopefully that will get some of the stuttering while I'm recording away. I might be nuts if they, maybe that doesn't matter at all, but. So, there we go. We got two levels here. Now, I've noticed a lot of people will work and they'll leave the spaces for their windows while they're building. I'm too lazy. I never think that far ahead. <laughs> I always make the whole thing and then cut out the windows later because it takes it takes me more time to plan ahead and figure out where the windows are going to go and miss them than to just uh, remember the windows in the first place. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I guess we'll have these last ones be vertical. So I am breaking my moral code quite a bit today by all this jumping. But by breaking my moral code, I'm going to have a nice house to live in. Which is already, I think, going to be nicer than the other house I had. Looks like I'm going to have just enough here. Okay. So let's make some steps down. Now I've also seen some other people do this in their houses and oh I have a wooden axe, that'll be quicker. And manage to get zombies and all sorts of creatures appearing in their houses. So I'm gonna need to make sure I get that put away. Alright, what was I going to make? Oh a door. We'll just go with the oh no we can do it. No, I need the oak. We'll do a birch door and two of them. We'll do one on each end. Oh, I can hear some nice flowing water from my house. So I think that will mean I will have... I won't, I won't need a sound machine near my house. Nice and relaxing. Now I hear some people make their doors and claim if they put them a certain way that um, then a zombie cannot break the door down. I'm not exactly sure what the proper construction on that thing is. But, I mean, if you're watching and you know, let me know. Okay. I guess that's more relevant than when you play normal Minecraft, because if a zombie comes in, you just... I mean, a single zombie usually isn't that frightening. But in this challenge, when we can't kill anything, it's going to be difficult. Okay, let's... Where are these? There we go. Look at this. Most of a house in a single day. No roof, but hey, not bad. So I think I'll finish this part and call it good for today and uh, get, see if there's any more, let's get the seeds ready, see if there's any more wheat ready, and head underground, and I see at least one or two, all right, so one, two, 
three. So first day, and I'll have three loaves of bread. Not bad. By episode two, or maybe it was the beginning of episode three. I think it was the beginning of episode three. I was dying, and it was only just getting my pumpkin in time that I lived. Look at that. Three loaves of bread. All right. Way to go, me. Let's make, while we're at it, two chests. Put them over here. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Your andesite, your diorite. We'll keep the charcoal. Uh, we can get rid of this birch sapling, sugar cane. Oh, I should have planted those oak saplings. Oh, well. Live and learn, I guess, huh? Let's get rid of some of these. Got plenty of dirt there. All right. So, what do I need to do? Oh, let's uh, craft some. Tor oh, we got some more of that. Let's craft some torches. Use this charcoal up. And head to the depths. No, there's coal. Now, I think I need to push it because I am behind here. And I think what I'm going to do is I found a little cave system at the bottom. And I think what I will do with that is maybe take my last little bit of armor there and make the third of my four. Oh, I need to eat. And two, full health. Um, so what am I wearing? I can't make pants, right? That takes more than I have. I'll just make some boots. So these boots will be made for caving, and that's just what they'll do. And will I die again in a cave? Be pretty awesome. We'll have to find out. So it's all the way down here. I blocked it off. I'll hopefully be able to make a hasty retreat. I have some blocks already in my hotbar here. Okay. There's some iron. Oh, no one's coming from that way, so that's fine. Let's get the iron while we can look as to where people are coming from. I don't think I'll be a one-hit kill for creepers anymore because of my armor, but I also won't probably last much longer than that. Okay, lava. What do I do? Okay, let's see. Let's go around you. Okay, still. Ooh. I do not want to get skeletoned into a lava. If I was smart. Oh, there's some lapis. If I was smart, I would be taking my iron immediately and making some the rest of my armor. Uh, let's not venture down there. Let's let's do it this way. I think I heard skeletons. Is that gold? Okay. Let's let's try to get it the safe way. Hopefully he can't see me. All right. Let's hide behind here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay. I'm nervous. That skeleton. Ah. Okay. And that is all that I want to do with this cave.
I am more than content to bypass the rest of this thing and go more down to diamond level and see what I can get. But I must say, this is way better than I was last time. Oh, there's really nothing over there, although iron. And dark depths where a creeper could fall on me. How much food does one have to have in their inventory bar to change their stance on never jumping and because it's a moral evil? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see here. Do I have any... I'll need I want to make a crafting table. I almost made a million crafting tables in an accident. Another one of you? Man, so much iron. Great. Crafting table down here. Let's make some stairs so we can get back up in an expedited fashion. And I have my day bar open, so this is still day two, so I'm not doing bad with that. How about to be m more useful with my time here, too, I will... Get my furnace a cooking. Eight pieces. That's awesome. Just put half my stuff in there. I think I got two or three. I think I bought like two carrots and a potato, or maybe I only had two last time. I am 400% richer than I was last time. It's pretty impressive. How's that? That's bubbling lava noise. That is not. Oh, great. And, oh, what did I do? I said I was making stairs. Two, three. Okay. Do I have any iron? Let me quick make two iron bars. Oh, no, I already have an extra iron pick. So forget that. Yeah, I think I, I did that at the beginning of la last episode, maybe. So when I came down here, I didn't have to waste time going back up. So day two still. Oh, I went lower than I wanted to. Alright. Nope. It wouldn't be one of my episodes if I didn't uh, misplace steps, right? So let's let's call 13 and call it good. Is there lava this way? Now maybe it could be like Michael in his episode. He um, went looking for gold and found like, uh, I don't know, a full set of diamonds? I think ex for, uh, enough for a full set of diamond armor? That'd be pretty awesome. Although, you always want diamonds in Minecraft. And this is the one challenge where they... They only mildly help you. Although if you turn to diamond armor, then you can be a little more brave. You can do some brave in caving. And uh, so therefore you can turn your diamonds into gold. There's no transmutation allowed in this challenge. So that's a bummer. So more iron. Okay. Let's quick, since I got, my gold is probably done, and, yeah, I'll get all this iron cooking. I'll have a full set of iron armor to work with. And what that basically means, oops, it's day three, so escape. So what that basically means is then on my final day, uh, which will be day three here, I can spend all day and night farming and finishing my house, and I don't really have to go caving down here anymore. And I don't have to worry about death, because I will be wearing a full suit of armor. So thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks again, and bye.